Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John for the Game here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Persona 4 Golden. Honestly, it is out here. It is Sunday, the 8th of May in this game. And I don't know, I really don't know what we're getting into. We're getting kind of get into some dangerous territory. That's all I know. Um, no, I actually don't know that. I just am saying that. Just to say it. Let's talk to... Why is Nautico not here? Girl, Nautico, excuse me? Why are you, what are you doing? Nautico, you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to exist in the realm. But okay, I guess if you don't want to be here, you don't have to. Fine, Nautico. I definitely don't want to go to Junessa with you or anything. Um. <laughs> oh, this game. Okay. And I'm saying that in a good way, not in a bad way, by the way. I hope you guys understand that. I actually am like missing a lot. Let's go to the flood plane. Okay, so I've been kind of testing out this flood plane a little bit because I'm like, what is here? What, what can be here? Everything else along the lines of that. So, um, I'm very, very curious about what can be the case, but biker gangs, all the people on those TV shows get all worked up by them. There's just whippers now, just causing ruckus. I know. The youngins don't think of them as much of a problem, but what do you think of them? I'd be half interested to know that. Well, I don't think of them at all because I don't really care, but you can care if you want to. I just don't. I just, I don't have a, a much of a care in the world. Hi, Mr. Mister. Do you happen to have a fish hook? You don't? I'm not surprised. Hmm, why is there no hook on my line? Did a fish take it? I can't remember anymore. Hey, you have a little sister, don't you? I saw her. What? I saw you with her once before. I have a sibling, too, an older sister, but honestly, I'm a little uncomfortable around her. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. You shouldn't have to be uncomfortable around your siblings. But yeah, uh, ooh, it's another... I, I'm really talking to a lot of people. Oh, this is just an old woman that doesn't... There, there's a lot of like people that just I would love. To, oh hi, that's not Chie. Oh, let's go to Chie. You're the person. Oh, oh my God! Wait, you can go to the back of these. Oh, you really can't go that much further. Okay. Nothing here for me to do. Go into town. Um. Let's go to Juness. I wanted to go to Juness anyway. And we have Yosuke here. Yo, Yo do you want to do some fishing? Sure. What kind of fish would you like um, from that place? It's kind of creepy if you ask me. Uh, I'm just thinking it gives me the jibbles. Or jibblies. If you catch any, don't feed them to me, alright? But... Yo. Since... You Oh, uh, I can actually do this. What will it tell me? Okay, it's not going to tell me anything. But I know that Yosuke was on my list of, hey, you should probably right. get close to Yosuke soon. So he was on my list of people anyway. So let's talk to him. Let's hang out with him today, I guess. 30 frame. Oh, I thought we were going fishing. This is not fishing. Okina City in front of Okina Station. Yosuke brought you all the way here. Hmm, kind of a while since I've breathed this kind of fresh air. You know, I'm just a little poor little city boy drawn to the urban scent. Wait a minute, I'm starting to sound like Teddy. But Teddy's cute though. <laughs> cute? I don't know about that, but I guess he's the type you can't ignore. Yes, he is smiling. Well, that aside, what should we... Ringing, ringing, ringing. Oh, a text message. Ugh, more spam mail. Oh my gosh. I get it, Yosuke. Spam's annoying. Looks like someone got my address and I got a lot of spam. You don't block them? Why don't you change your address? Eh, what can you do? You don't block them? Hmm. Even when I do, they change domains, so there's no point. And I don't want to change my address. Yosuke is sighing. I haven't been, I haven't changed addresses since we moved here to even Inaba. I mean, I might get a text from someone. It's hard to call 
you know, if I called people just to tell them my number changed, they'd get, they'd get annoyed. And some of them never plan to text me anyway, so what's the point of even having them in my contacts? Oh boy, you don't look at me like that. I don't have any friends. Though to tell you the truth, I don't remember what we all used to talk about and can't really call them friends. Inaba suits me just fine, plus I got something I needed to do there. I'm counting on you, partner. You see, you can sense Yosuke's enthusiasm and you feel a bit more like we have a bit more of a bond with Yosuke as we are now level 3 in the Magician Arcana. <sighs> That's good. Determination in battle has been enhanced. You can now perform a follow-up attack during battle with Yosuke. When you knock down an enemy in battle, your ally will sometimes follow up. Well, with that in mind, we should head back. It sucked if something happened back there while we were over here. All right, let's head home. Wait, let's get everybody over a souvenir, then go home. Okay, we can do that. All right, let's go. Oh, it just turns the evening. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. I just it was not. Oh, hi, Nadiko. Where'd you go? Hmm. I'm sorry. Nadiko seems to be lost in thought. What's wrong? Well, oh, we're getting actual conversation. Okay. Nanako's fidgeting. Uh oh, Nanako, what'd you do? I made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. It. Oh, I didn't make the connection. I'm sorry. I kind of feel like an idiot for not making this connection because. Oh, well, but it wasn't. I'm curious now because I don't recall this being actual Mother's Day this in that year. I believe it, but it totally could have been. And now I understand why not it goes like, but, 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 but. And so, hold on. Let me actually, I'm curious and I'm going to double check and see kind of what's up. Because this was 2016. Oh, it totally is. I kind of, I feel very bad now. I I actually do, because, oh, that's right. It's always the second week, and Father's Day is like the third week. And you don't have Dojima to comfort you right now in this moment. Let's let's talk My about this. My told us that today when you give your mom flowers. I feel so bad. No, like knowing part of her story, I can only I imagine. Mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. I can only imagine being that young, and doing stuff in school, figuring out things, and being like, "Oh yeah, you can give this to your family. You can do this." And mind you, this is an event that happened yesterday. Essentially, and Nanika was not awake this morning, which is very abnormal for her, so she's clearly down. Nanika seems very upset. Yeah, I, I knew something. It's crazy how attached to these characters I've gotten to the point where I saw Nanako not up and asked, Where's Nanako? What's going on with Nanako? Like, and that was my initial instinct. You can get... Huh? But it's Mother's Day. Is it okay to give them to Dad? Okay, then I'll give them to him. Uh, I did a really good job. My teacher said they were pretty. <laughs> I wonder if Dad will be happy to get them. Oh, this is going to be affecting the story, too. You should make a flower, too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. We should. 
Oh, we don't get we don't get the option. Okay, cool. I would have said yes anyway, so. We did it. You place the finished flower on the table along with a letter to Dojima. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. Okay. Do we have I don't think we should have an opportunity to study and stuff. No, 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 no. I want to check the Midnight Channel. If I can. Nothing if airs on TV. Let's finish Expert Study Methods. We have um, a midterm tomorrow. And no rain, which that complicates a lot of things. Your first term midterms begin today and continue through Thursday. You should hurry to school. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna get cutscenes, right? We should get cutscenes here. Hmm. Morning. Hi Chie. Exams are finally starting today and I'm kind of ruffled. Have you studied? Uh can you tell? Do I look like I'm ready? Oh my gosh, but these exams, once they're over, we're done with. And with the case. All that depressing stuff, it's gonna keep going on and 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 on. Okay, Chie. You didn't study. Do you want to study together? I thought you were studying with Yukiko. I hang out with Yosuke for that purpose. Midterms day one. What is. What is called when your muscles grow after exercise? Oh! Wait a minute! Overcompensation. You feel like you've chosen the correct answer. What is it called the year before 1 AD? 1 BC. You feel like you have chosen the correct answer. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is it just going to give me like a list of two? Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, these days are flipping, flipping, flipping. Which of these types of numbers do not exist? Marriage numbers. You feel like you chose the correct answer. Who translated I love you as the moon is beautiful, isn't it? Oh. I want to say it was Natsume. You feel like you've chosen the correct answer. Okay, we'll find out. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, that makes more sense. Midterms day three. Who said, as soon as laws are necessary for men, they are no longer fit for freedom? Uh, oh boy. Uh, Pythagoras, actually. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Everest, right? Well, now we're getting out of review situations. I was hoping that it would just be like, oh, this is what you've been told this entire time. But no, I'm going to go with the Mount Everest because I believe that's the case. But because like that's a, like a lot of people's journey is to like go up Mount Everest. You don't have a good feeling about your answer. Oh, crap. OK. That's not good. Last day of exams. Last question gave you a hard time. You feel you did well. It's finally over. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down. So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh, crap. And I got it wrong. I put the rice cakes on top of the table. Rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? All right. I'm giving up on composition. I'm going to bet it all on geography. What did you choose for the tallest mountain in the solar system? 
I'll be honest. Seriously? I chose the wrong one. Oh, I put that one too. <gasps> wait, oh my god, wait, it was that was supposed to get me to back out of my answer, and I was actually right. Whoa, you two? It's probably the right answer. Oh, this game tricked the fuck out of me. Oh my god. I am so glad I stuck to my guns on that. It was like, oh, you probably got it wrong. And it purposely did it. What a bitch of... That, 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 I, I can't... I can't believe that it... I can't believe it did that. It actually wanted to trick the crap out of me to get me to change my answer to agree with Chie and then make Yuki come mad. <sighs> Probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? They're gonna cover those biker gangs that hang around there. A friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. I heard it from him. Dude, what are you doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang? Well, anyways, what do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. I guess your place is too far away to hear them. We live right by the road. The noise can drive you insane. I hear some guys at this school are part of it, too. Yeah. I know there are some rumors about a first-year student here who's a total hellraiser. Oh, no. One of the guys working at Juness said the dude's been a legend ever since middle school. Although... Was he in a biker gang? Did did you say he was a legend? Oh, Yukiko. Oh, not not for good reason. Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. <laughs> At least I had the same reaction. You have no choice but to what? Oh fuck! I need to read that. You have no choice but to blank. Do 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 do. Okay, let's check the exams, because I believe they've got to be opposed to at this point, right? Oh, we have basketball practice today. Um, I've got some... Wait, who is it? Oh, that's... um. Oh, boy. I have... This is the double decision situation. Well, one, okay, I've already taken your quest. Is, oh, are they not posted yet? You see several papers posted on the notice board. Which one would you like to look at? Your score on the test. You notice the results have been posted yet. Okay. So I believe, is that... Who is this? Is this... This is the band kid, right? It'd be such a waste if you got out of practice. Ananya looks a bit sad. I know, but I gotta hang out with my boys in the basketball club. Yo. <laughs> I'll go to band on Monday. Mondays are exclusively for band. Oh, who do you have with you, huh? There's as I left. This is exactly why the team is... Whatever. Here's some good news. You're getting a team manager. Now, you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. I, Ebihara. Ebihara. Great. I think you're going to take it from here. I'm going home. Ebihara, huh? I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm not lifting a finger for this team. I wouldn't have been caught dead watching out a bunch of force for, for a bunch of sweaty die guys. Huh? Then why did you? I've missed too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not going to be here. Goodbye. 
See ya or not. Bye. Oh, you annoying. Yeah, that's about what I expected when I saw I here. So much for having a manager. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's grab some food. I agree. Let's go get to Aya. Man, this place has been calling to me in your in my dreams ever since I had to bail on you guys last time. How did that go? What the dream? Oh, you mean with my family? Oh, well, it's it's kind of complicated. Ko is laughing. <laughs> Diosuke told you all about it, right, Hagrid? My family is pretty interesting. Arranged marriages for political gain are pretty standard with us. Just the other day, I was greeting people at one of those uh, high society gatherings. Can you imagine me at one of those things? Kind of hard to imagine. <laughs> Seriously, I had to laugh at myself sometimes. I had a feeling that he'd like that better than, than me messing with me poking and prodding. Anyway, if you ever run into anyone in my family, don't tell them I eat here talk like this. At home, it's nothing but studying tea ceremonies and lessons. To them, I am the prim and proper Kusama. Kusama? Yep, that's what they call me. I know it sounds crappy, but hey, they feed me, they give me an allowance. I need to do my part too, you know? I don't know, man. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. I might be able to all. It might be all over soon anyway. We're an old-fashioned family, so the Ichijo name has been passed from generation to generation. But the last male in my family, my dad, didn't have any kids to pass the name on to. Well, they weren't going to let Ichijo name just up and die, so they adopted me. And then, what do you know? My dad ended up having a kid after all, a girl. So I guess you could say she's a little sister to me. The name is Sakijo. Or, or Sakiko, she almost, she's almost two. She's really cute, you know. Ko tries to sound cheerful. That's uh, he's trying. Do I just give him? Isn't it? Ko smiles. It's better this way. Becoming a successor would be a major hassle, and really, it should go to a blood relative. Sorry, I didn't mean to put a damper on the mood. Come on, let's eat. Huh. Yeah. Got we we got another rank up for them. They're rank four now with us. Okay. Fellow athletes reach social link level four. Your power to create personas of the strength arcana has grown. Just forget I said any of that stuff. Oh man, I did I tell you guys about the one in a million shot I made? Now we're talking about basketball. You talked about practice. After saying goodbye, you decided to go home. <sighs> okay. We we advanced a lot of days. And we did we haven't done much, so we'll find out. Welcome back. <gasps> I went shopping today, the fridge is full of food. Hey, can I have a word with you? You go to Junus a lot. You go to Junus a lot? Yes, very often. That ass Adachi keeps vanishing every now and again. I figure he's probably slacking off around Junus whenever he does. If you see him hanging around when you're at Junus, he's probably goofing around. So if you see a Dodge at Junus, tell him off for me, okay? You remember that if you've seen a Dodge at the food court before, next time you go to Junus, you should be on the lookout for a Dodge. Oh no, we have to. We have to. Okay. Can we have some? She said the food was stocked, or the fish was stocked. You open the fridge. There's a variety of food inside. You can make a lunch for tomorrow. Spend the evening making tomorrow's lunch? No. We want to talk to Dojima today. Hey. How's it going? Oh, uh, well, maybe it wasn't the right line. Your Dojima's struggling to find the right words. I don't consider myself an old man yet, but when it comes to high schoolers, I don't know what to talk about. You can't communicate well with Dojima. It's... Your, if your expression level was that eloquent, you'd be able to carry a conversation. Are you kidding me? It's we, can't, we can't even connect with Dojima, but we'll, okay, fine, we'll connect with Nautico then. So 
surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make a meat stew. You decided to make meat stew. Dot, dot, dot. You only have to simmer it. How should you simmer it? Simmer it with a drop lid. The ingredients have been deliciously cooked to completion. It came out amazingly and looks perfect. Obtained a long simmered meat stew. Oh, well, we didn't do it with Nanako. I was kind of hoping we'd do it with Nanako. Lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Do you wish to eat it with somebody? Who would you like to invite to lunch? Um, others. Who would you like to invite? Others. Let's invite Anaya to lunch. This is delicious. I respect the fact that you can cook. The only thing that I can make are sweets. P please try some next time I make them. Anaya enjoyed your lunch. You feel like your relationship is going going to be growing closer soon. So basically, go to freaking band practice, John. It's essentially what that is. Um, I I keep double clicking on that. One. Oh wait. What? That's not what I want. Um, not today. Sorry, GA, but I don't, I can't really do that right now. It's a Friday. It's kind of a pseudo day off for me. I want to see if my midterms are posted yet, but they probably aren't. Uh, they're on the side of the wall. No results have been posted. Jeez Louise. Are we going to go to Junis just naturally? That's a good question. Yeah, we are. Hi, Adachi. Oh. What's the matter? Can I help you? Dojima sent me. <laughs> really? Dojima-san? Well, obviously I'm working here. It's easy to investigate here with all the people around. It's cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's a pretty good place to... Yeah, I think I've said enough. Seems like Adachi seems to be slashing off. Oh. Wait, can we actually hang out? Oh, that's a little strange. Wait, we can actually... What are you doing here, killing time? Tough to do out here in the sticks, isn't it? There's nothing here. It's not like the city at all. It's not so bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but you're from the city too, right? You'll find it out soon enough. This town is really dead. This is my first assignment here and was tracking down a cat. My suit got so dirty and it wouldn't let me expense the dry, dry cleaning bill. Next, I paid a peacemaker in a spat some married couple was having. Couldn't believe they'd got the police out of doing that stuff. Adachi seems unsatisfied with country life. But it's been more dangerous lately, so I can't kick back. There's just one case, you know, and it's still not solved yet. The higher-ups don't know what to do, and they keep changing procedure on the fly. Sorry. S Oops, I hope I'm not making you nervous. You guys have nothing to worry about, you know. Us police are on the job. He says Adachi cares for you. You feel a bit more understanding for Adachi. What are you giving me? I had a feeling you were going to give me something, because the game was like, Adachi, Toku, Adachi, blah, 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 Adachi. Oh, he's going to have the Jester Arcana. I saw this on the um, the list, and obviously that's a jester. Like I, not stupid. I know what that is. Okay. So I was not ex I was not one hundred percent expecting Adachi to have an Arcana, but I also like had a feeling he was going to by the, the game pointing me in that direction. 
Well, you know. <laughs> well, time for me to get back to work. Who was that, Adachi? Whew, that was close. Adachi doesn't seem to want to be seen by that old woman. I better go. You hurry home too. Don't tell Dojima I was at Junus, okay? We're telling Dojima we were. We can tell Dojima, right? You watched Adachi go back to work and then went home. Riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. The hell are you punks doing here? Who are you? That voice. The Sana show, get bent. Still up to the same old tricks. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through work. His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. But I thought he'd gone into a high school and started attending class. Hmm. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile shop. I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. It's a nice gesture, but it's way too violent. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make sure to hang the laundry inside the house. Rainy Saturday. Started raining. I guess the weather report was right. No chie. That means the show's probably gonna be on tonight. This is what I was waiting for. I don't see anyone. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got it? Yep. So we saw a new dude on the TV. Home. We can't talk to Nanako. <laughs> Biker gangs, those words kind of sound cool together. And they're not as cool as you think, Nanako. They're not as cool as you would think. Yep, let's watch the Midnight Channel. Oh god, what are we going to see today? Still raining. It's raining tonight. Will you see something on the TV? That we will. A figure has appeared. Seems to be a man this time. He looks like a high schooler. The image is still unfocused and hard to tell who it is. You should try calling Yosuke. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Okay, so we're actually going to enter like um this is good. This is good. I'm glad. You decided to go to bed. To bed. This is this is exactly what I was hoping to get into. Is some of the, some of the juicy details. It's a Sunday. And we will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Yep. Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. Special headquarters. Hmm. Does have a nice ring to it. Anyways, as for what was on last night. I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? So that's 
how I looked on TV. Hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yukiko, you don't know the half of what happened on TV. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yes, the it was. Got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then... I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct, Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumption. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. That's exactly what we just said. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I... I <laughs> Why do I actually do everything that she is? Or, well, I literally, I'm literally Yukiko. Let's be honest. Like I'm straight up, <laughs> chuckle, laugh, do like half of the same things Yukiko just does. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, And Joy has seen me in these kind of laughing fits too, so it's like it's this is uh, even this is accurate, kind of not not doesn't happen as often obviously, but Joy has seen these laughing fits out of me. This is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw, I get the feeling I've seen him before, pretty recently too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Are we going to be able to check the TV? Because it's not raining. <laughs> when are you going to stop that, you crazy hyena? <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we are going to be able to. Welcome back. Yes, I wish we could freaking talk, Dojima, but we freaking can't. It makes me sad. It's a bad influence on Nanako. What's a bad influence on Nanako? <laughs> oh, the biker gang situation. Yeah, it it totally is. I'm surprised it's still raining because it said it wasn't going to do this. A figure has appeared. The image is unfocused, but you feel like you've seen it before. Which one's your type? 
I fucking knew this question was going to be asked because they were talking about lovers and stuff like that and all of that jazz. Oh, no. I don't want to answer this question because uh, this is a trap question. But I have to... I literally have to say the right, the true answer. Oh, I had a feeling you'd say that. She's actually pretty interesting. I never knew she was like that. My image of her has changed completely, but I like her way better now. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Okay, see you tomorrow. I almost wanted to say neither just for the fact that I just didn't want to influence the story, but... Oh, I have to be honest. Uh, sometimes that sucks. Honesty. The one who was on last night. It's that guy, right? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? He wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. All right, then let's get going. But what if I want to go to band practice? But but anaye and band practice. <clears throat> Yuki-chan, it's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. Slender young man. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. What's up with him? Huh? Never seen him before. Uh. Yuki chan, you're as lovely as always. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, um, well, actually. Hey, the scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, you're right. Where was that? Oh, it was that place inside the TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamano? Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we going to do? How should I know? Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Hmm. I don't think that anybody would target somebody because of the scarf, but... I think there's more to that than meets the eye here. Mm -hmm. It's Kanji. -kun. Kanji. Wait, hi! You're not fooling 
anyone you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. You're enveloped in or you're eavesdropped on Conve Conjay's conversation with the boy. Tomorrow's fine with me. Huh? School. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. There's a lot going on. Did he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? the hell are you pricks looking at? <sighs> it's a dominating, tough, gay guy. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> oh, no. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm so in trouble. I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? You know what's funny is she's probably or he's probably a mother's a mama's boy just like somebody else I know and um, yeah not like not like the the ways the shows TV shows portray it but like well, somebody who like, wants to be there and overarching and caring and super crazy about making sure that his mother's okay kind of thing. Maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. Mm, it's a different kind of revenge. I think we're on the wrong track. Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Because if you're taking the kid, that's somebody who you is loves and adored. In the textile shop itself. That's also possible, but I think it's more about. I'm totally lost. It's a, it seems revenge worthy. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. It scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? Okay, he's a weird kid, but... If we're calling him weird, then I'm weird, okay? Yosuke. Because I would, I would be... That's how I would strike up a conversation. Of literally me around Chori every fucking time. Um, this, um, that, um, can I, can I, can I, like, is it possible if I, if I, blah, if I, like, like, obviously the answer is yes, but you, uh, you, what you go, what you do is you literally just like, oh, hey, like, I don't know. That would be me if I actually was like, hey, I'm interested, like, Troy, I'm actually interested in you, just so you know, we should meet up somewhere, do something. Like, if I actually had the courage, but, you know. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, we definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. No. Nope. That being said, uh. you could go. can I have your cell number? All right, let's try stalk, staking out both Kanje and his family's Thor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no, I got everybody's phone number except for hers, and the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, 
Could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? Oh, yo, Skay. You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. That was a no. <laughs> you got shut down. Okay, then. You got shut down. You decided to stake out the kanji textile shop tomorrow. Welcome home. Welcome back. Hi, Nautico. You're stuck in your quiz show, aren't you? The boys at school pretend like they're gangs when they run around. Oh, oh boy. There's a lot of issues here. After school, we just don't have the option again to do things. The target arrived at school? Yes, ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status in the bathroom fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here. I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I uh, I just got here too. In the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Okay. All right. We'll need to <laughs> He's like, I know what's going on. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. Leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. So, shall we? <laughs> I didn't. I really hope that this is like not. I, I, I really hope that we were doing the textile shop regardless. Oh. <sighs> Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Thank you. Oh, you even got us good. Okay. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? I unfortunately don't have the courage to actually say that. Ugh. I'm sure of it. And we need to keep our eyes open. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. There's a lot that you could do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. <laughs> the same is true for me. Aww. You sense Yukiko's gratitude and affection.
There we go. We got the Priestess Arcana. We're getting these Arcanas really quickly. I think this is really a lot of how I'm getting these Arcanas very quickly is I'm not a very sociable person, right? You can tell this by the way that my Arcanas are building up because you can see that I have, well, let's see. I've got a lot of level ones. This was exactly how I was in high school. I have a lot of like the level ones and then I have like maybe a level two to a level three. And then I've got just the groups that I've hung out with and that I am with and are intertwined with. And I think that's what a lot of life is, right? You haven't yet asked you to go for contact information. We don't have any courage for anything. Oh, you're right. We'll need to contact each other if anything happens. I'm the first to get her number. There seems to be no char change over at the shop. You spoke with you about many different things. Oh, we just got to hang out and chill together for like the entire day. Okay, we do get the other side of the story. Cool. Man, this is weird. Yeah, we definitely stand out. No, I mean them. I get this weird feeling about them. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Fuck you, Yosuke. Fuck you, Yosuke. Fuck you, Yosuke. Breaking bro code. I should have just, you know, I really could have just flipped them off, but I'm too nice for that. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? <laughs> <laughs> Karma's bitch, isn't it, Yosuke? Oh, well, you see, we're, we're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Are you alone, bird brain? Didn't I see you guys yesterday? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! You say what you think. Y you got it all wrong. Hey, are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that. We regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanjikun will come home. Yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? What the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. But damn it! Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? 
Are you saying that I'm strange? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face, or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm choking! You ran away with from Conjury as, fa as fast as your legs would carry you. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. And if this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Started raining. I hope it didn't get wet out there. Um, I was not expecting it to rain, to be honest. Can I go upstairs and not rest? No, I guess I can't. You need. We don't. We can't, don't even have a choice. We have to watch the Midnight Channel. You've seen something on the screen. The image is clear and sharp. Hello, dear viewers. It's time for bad, bad bathhouse. Oh no! <laughs> that was unmistakably kanji. Is this gonna be Yukiko? It should be, that'd be funny. Hey, hey. Yoke okay, is too flustered to get his point across. That's okay, Yosuke. You can talk. I would talk for hours about this. Searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. Anyways, we 
Agreed. You decided to go to bed. And on that lovely note, um, yeah, that was, what a great, oh, we're still talking, never mind, <laughs> this is going on for ages. Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things. But when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned off TV on a rainy night. No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. That, and considering Kanji's character and everything, honestly that makes sense because, I mean, not gonna lie. Um, as guarded as I am in... Oh, we get to talk about this topic. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun topic to talk about throughout this section. But like, as guarded as I am, there's definitely that unguarded side, right? That like you guys get to see a lot in episodic videos and in videos and stuff that a lot of IRL people don't get to see because I purposely guard it because I don't want people to think that like hey, I'm this, so therefore I'm inadequate, or I'm subordinate, or I'm not good enough because of this reason, right? And, like, it's not necessarily the thing that you really want to be, like, talking about or figuring out, because it's, like, I I'm one of those people that have a bad habit of already devaluing and undervaluing myself because of all of the things that I am, and so with that aforementioned like stuff and it it makes it even more impactful when not only am I thinking it but other people say it too it's because then it gives me basically a confirmation bias essentially about hey by the way you're not good enough and you know you're not good enough and somebody just confirmed you're not good enough <sighs> so yeah so that's what that is so it's not random it's specifically related to whoever goes missing oh, Yukiko had a show too but she doesn't remember doing anything like that um this might be a little off subject but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Oh, eh, eh. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me, too? Oh, that is it. That killer is dead meat. I'm going to leave footprints all over his face. Got it. First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? <laughs> all, you all strengthened your, re your resolve to save Kanji. The Fool Investigation Team is now rank 3. What does that get us? Garner us. <laughs> Chie! Those last two were the same thing. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> oh, we're going into the TV. And we're forced into the TV. Hey, 
Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If he can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji-kun personally? Teddy may be able to grasp Kanji's location if he gets more information about Kanji, but what kind of information do, does he need? He decided to go around and ask, or ask around town about Kanji. Okay, so let's go to the shopping district and save, and then to end this off, because yeah, we gotta go find people that know about Kanji. And in the next one, we will be continuing to go around and doing that. You guys might see some of that, but let's do this. Have a good one.